Hi, my name is Swali Owais. Hi, my name is Riju Siktar. And I'm Joe Madikat. Over 1 million people are visually impaired in Canada alone. Many of these people rely on seeing eye dogs to guide them from one location to another. Unfortunately, service animals take up to $35,000 and three years to train. Due to these high numbers, many people can't get access to a seeing eye dog. A robotic guide dog would solve this problem. It would be relatively cheaper and easier to make and require no, no training or feeding. We wanted to see whether we whether it was possible to build a robotic guide dog capable of guiding people at the same standards of a normal guide dog. So we built the robot. We used the scripting layer for Android to design an app with which the user can verbally input the location he or she desires to go to. So where are you right now? Mavis and Eglinton. And where do you want to go? Confederation and Eglinton. The robot then uses the Google Maps API to take the user to that location. Additionally, we also have the LEGO Mindstorms ultrasonic sensor to detect any obstacles that come in front of the robot. We also have a camera mounted on the top of the robot so that it can sense its orientation relative to the sidewalk. That way, if the robot is going off the sidewalk, it can automatically center itself. After consulting service animal training centers, we found out that it would take a normal seeing eye dog 330 seconds to go on a particular route with no errors. When we designed our robot, we made this robot take the exact same route and found that it could take the person to the location in 290 seconds, also with no errors, thus proving that we created a robot with, that reaches the same standard as a normal live seeing eye dog. We decided that the standard of an object guiding a person was determined by how fast an, ob an object could guide a person and how successfully an object could guide a person. Thank you to everyone who helped us, and especially thank you to Google for giving us this opportunity.